Hello, my name's Simon Dunn. I'm a chocolatier. I've been for nearly 40, actually 40 years this year. Love what I do, it's a great business and uh, we're at the moment we're in the midst of Easter business so uh, it's a very busy time. Uh, as a child I did want to become a chef, that was uh, always something I wanted to do, I'd rather be making things rather than sat behind a desk. I've got a real passion for chocolate, I think most people probably have, but I think um, I was lucky enough to, I had a 10 year career in the sweet factory making jelly babies, dolly mixtures, all different kind of wonderful sweets, and I was sent on a confectionery course, well basically all over the UK, and then the main one was in Germany at the time, and it was... Um, it was on that course that I really got a love and passion for working and making chocolates. And uh, yeah, I came back from there and I thought, crikey, this is uh, a lot easier than making sweets. So I've, I've developed different products, different techniques, and uh, I've been playing with chocolate ever since. Uh, I started the business when um, it was kind of almost getting busier, the, the chocolate sales and time spent make it in, in my spare time making chocolates than it was with a full-time job <clears throat> and I was also earning probably almost as much money and I thought crikey if I devote my full working week to the chocolate business then that will be a real that could be a success and thankfully it was <laughs> I uh, people are always fascinated that I work with my wife and we get on and we work well together I met Anne and we've been married 40 years this year I met Anne when we were 11 at school My name's Andrew and um, I'm a chocolatier. Working with Simon, um, yeah, it's always fun. Um, we do get on once we're in work, we're in sort of work zone and I do my job and he does his. Um, but yeah, no, it's good, it's good fun. She does most of the packing and bowing and everything else and I get on with the production and you know, obviously serving in the shop. So uh, between us, we, we make a great team. It was great, we were so lucky, we, we worked from home. I mean, we've had various kind of uh, places to work from, uh, industrial units, shops and all sorts, but around the time that the kids were school age, etc., we, we, we had the business set up at home and that was perfect, because we had a small chocolate factory, if you like, down in, in, the, in I separated the garage into a production area, and it was perfect. Um, did a lot of the work when they were in bed at night, or obviously when they were at school in the daytime once they started school. Um, so between us, it worked really well. To be fair, we didn't have to have trial minders or anything like that. It was re worked really well. Yeah. I was always concerned that uh, Oliver and Camilla, my daughter, maybe uh, it gave them the false impression of what work is, and Dad should go out to work. But I don't think it did because they they both turned out to be real workers. So. One of the biggest shocks in business was uh, I got a phone call one day and it was um, a lady and we were, we were a very mad busy Saturday morning at Wimslow shop. Phone rang, hello, oh, you, you don't know me but you soon will. Apparently you've copied one of my pieces of art and basically her claim was that, um, that we'd used her artwork which was like a flapper girl kind of uh, 40s style or 30s style um, elegant lady in a hat and that was our logo and it, it went on forever and I was basically forced to take all the signs down remove all the label packaging because she'd I mean it was similar to her her artwork but it wasn't identical and um, it was I thought at one point I, I did actually say is this some kind of a joke we've used that logo for probably at the time it may have been 30 years at the end of it, I think, well, maybe we're, we should have a change and different style. So that's why we've come up with this new logo, which is two cocoa beans in the shape of a heart. And I think that works even better, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it's very interesting, this business. I do often get uh, emails, random emails from whoever, really, like TV companies wanting props maybe for, for TV programmes or promotion promotional campaigns. But, you know, we, we do a regular... Um, Supply to Rolls Royce, Bentley, and McLaren showroom just locally, and they they're always having kind of different, unique things. Although there's a limit to how much we can make in chocolate, people think we can make anything, but we do have to either have a mould or a 
you know, it's difficult to copy company logos, but we tend to just put printed ribbon around things and uh, that does the job. I have, I'm everything in the business. Uh, most small uh, self-employed one-man businesses are. We're, um, I do everything. <laughs> the cleaning of the floor, ordering of the products, uh, the packaging, chasing up payments, uh, keeping an eye on everything, the um, hygiene rating scheme, I have to make sure that all the paperwork's up to date and all, all everything's in order. But uh, I think after 40 years, I've got good at it. Well, I, I know what should be done and it, it works pretty well. You know, we always make sure we've got a good packaging supply. It's been difficult over the last few years with COVID, etc. Uh, the business is, uh, is, in my opinion, probably certainly for my uh, purposes, the best it's ever been. You know, we had, went through a time as I go back over the <coughs> 40 years in business, it was, uh, it was some very challenging times, especially when we were kind of just wholesale, so we'd be relying on people, paying on time, whereas now we're completely just retail, and we don't, we're not coffee shops anymore, it's just, I basically make the chocolates, put them in the cabinet, and the customer comes in and buys them. So there's no kind of middleman, or, or um, I've got full control from start to finish, which is, as I say, the best position that we've uh, we've ever been in and it's, it's the most rewarding position you know we can literally run out of one chocolate a customer can come in one expecting that and within well, depending on which product it is I could have it made by the time they've left the shop and that to me is just the ultimate service and I like that. Uh, me and Oliver work great together it's it, people are very confused about the connection uh, I think that some that don't some that don't know our relationship or the family have said, how does it how does it feel having competition next door? Oliver is a great asset to my business. He always has been. He spent ten or fifteen years in the business, obviously learning everything about the business, and now he's completely on the other end of the spectrum as I am. I mean, I basically stick to the traditional products that people want, he goes off creating wild and wonderful things that I could never get around to doing. So he's, uh, he's a real star man. I'm Oliver Dunn, also known as Oli the Choc, and I'm a chocolatier. My first memories of doing live streams go back to Periscope, so that was the first platform that offered the, the live streaming option. And then when Facebook introduced the live feature, I was excited to, to share more, to offer not just live videos, but live shows. And that coincided with lockdown, with the first lockdown, and it was just a way to keep people entertained, keep people happy, put smiles on people's faces. And not only that, I was creating kits and sending those out so people could actually make along with me during the live video. Well, my plans for the future are to continue working in chocolate because that's what I'm really passionate about and to keep creating weird and wonderful things that I can share with the world and also to go into more and more TV. I just enjoy the live, the excitement from a live video whether that's on social media or on television. So yeah, just pushing myself more and more. I also enjoy the presenting element and I've been doing a lot of presenting outside of chocolate. So I hope to kind of grow into that space as well. I hope you've enjoyed hearing bits about my business and uh, I hope you've tried my chocolates or been into one of my shops and if not I hope you do come to see me because uh, I like to, as you can see, tell the story about the business and uh, I'm very very grateful for all the customers and name dropping that we get so thank you very much everybody. <laughs>